Hi there, I'm Justin Pritchard and there are a lot of reasons that you choose to buy the car that you choose to buy. And often those center around the logical and sensible things like affordability, practicality and fuel economy. And today we're not looking at any of those. This is Neptune's Trident, and that means that today we're going for a spin in a Maserati. This one, the Levante GTS, and it's a crossover with all-wheel drive and room for the family, although with the air suspension hunkered down as you'll be seeing it in this video, I was mostly tempted to call this a world-class performance sedan wearing a backpack. And if you're eyeing one of these up to try something new from the go-fast crossover marketplace that's largely dominated by the Germans, it's an Italian option that you might want to check out. To depending on what you want out of your ride for your six-figure check. And before you go scratching your head and wondering why anyone needs a crossover with this excessive amount of performance firepower and posh factor, remember that need is not in this machine's vocabulary. Nobody needs to drive a four-wheeled bazooka like this one. It's a desire-quenching decision that's driven by passion, not logic. So it has moves like a proper sports car, and it's powered by a little and very powerful V8 assembled by Ferrari, and it's got enormous brakes, an all-wheel drive system that focuses on friskiness, and no shortage of mechanical and electronic implements designed to put a great big grin on your mug. And as crossovers tend to, it also has four doors, a motorized tailgate, flexible seating, and a decent amount of cargo storage volume. The looks stand out against the German stuff too. It's more glamorous, more beautiful as a shape, I think, and also it looks lighter and leaner in its skin. The sweeping lines, ticked off headlights, massive quad exhausts, and that positively menacing fang slatted fascia convey in no uncertain terms that something unique and serious is rolling by. I cannot get enough of this thing's face. On board, the interior satisfies the fingertips more easily than the eyes. It's hard to touch anything in here that isn't covered in fragrant stitched leather or suede and there's a hefty and solid feel to virtually everything. Nothing flimsy. Heck, they even installed some decorative metal shielding in the footwell to protect the carpeting from your boots. So Levante feels built to last, though some test drivers may wish for a more modern look to some of the controls, stocks, dials, and interfaces, some of which will be familiar to owners of modern Chrysler and Dodge products, because these and Maserati are all owned by parent company FCA, and they're sharing some of their interior parts. So for your investment, investment of 138,000 for starters on a GTS, plenty more visually stunning cabins are available if that's high on your wish list. It's not all bad news though, the seats are gorgeous and quilted, and with four adult-friendly sports buckets, you've got appropriate seating for the capability on offer. The big appeal here though, to me, seems to be the unique and thrilling driveline combined with the unique and powerful presence that Levante has on the road. Driveline first, this compact and power dense 3.8 liter V8 is a mechanical thrill ride. Opened up, it's a flowing surge of thrust that swells and grows as the revs climb to a 7,000 RPM redline. Each turbocharger gets its own intercooler and the engineers have nestled the twin turbocharged power surge beautifully within the engine's natural power curve, which gives the acceleration a shape and a feel and a personality. The sound from the eight little cylinders is sweet, intense and exotic, though a touch too quiet for some. Most will find the sound to be rich and satisfying, some will just wish to hear more of it. You won't be wishing for more power though, with 550 horses, the acceleration is nothing short of overkill, which is exactly what this shopper wants. Engage sport mode, and the Levante enables easy and predictable throttle steering by assertive drivers on winding roads with some trick all-wheel drive programming helping it to feel remarkably light and feisty. In that sport mode, power only goes to the front wheels as a sort of last resort, turning in that rear drive feel that sporty drivers love. Acceleration borders on face peeling at full throttle, and drivers without a great deal of self-control could wind up in serious trouble. Elsewhere, this thing will blast past an 18-wheeler in a touch long longer than it takes the driver to roll their foot to the floor. It goes like lightning. The acceleration doesn't even let up during the millisecond upshifts from the 8-speed automatic. These can be summoned via giant shift paddles if you like, and gear changes are flawless, immediate and perfectly rev matched. Just watch your speed, she'll sneak well into demerit point territory on the slide if you're not careful. Brakes are powerful, reliable and confidence inspiring, an excellent match for the firepower from under the hood. Stops are quick and drama free, even if the pedal feel isn't at its best until the brakes are piping hot. As performance brakes tend to, these actually feel better the harder you work them. 
creamy smooth power, a solid driving feel, and nicely muted noise levels contribute to a peaceful and comfortable highway ride that maintains good comfort levels and a consistent blend of sporty refinement thanks in part to the excellent adaptive suspension. Biggest gripes? Well, heavy-footed drivers can expect a mighty fuel bill and a too-sensitive lane departure alert system interrupted many tranquil moments on the road with a loud and startling beep, suggesting that I put my hands back on the wheel even though they were already there. Other notables include potent headlights with strong performance, an excellent high-end stereo system with full smartphone compatibility, and some surprising off-road capability enabled by the air suspension lift just in case you need it. The driving enthusiast on their second or third German rocket ute looking to try something new will likely find a solid return on their investment, partly because Levante GTS is something different and mainly because it puts on a hell of a show. My high-performing tester was priced from 138 and clocked in a little past 150 with included options. It may not be that long before the fastest crossovers on the road are all electrified or fully electric. And if you've got the checkbook and love internal combustion engines, Levante GTS might be one of the last rocket utes you'll be buying with one. Times are changing, but this is not a power plant you're likely to forget. I know I won't. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Stay in school, kids. Until next time, my name is Justin Pritchard. We'll see you in the next video. Take care and drive safe.